Please, you guys are young. Don't ever sell yourself short. Education gives you the freedom to make choices in life. That was the message Gino Ojik made sure he gave to kids who would listen. We were two little old Indian boys who grew up on the res. You know, if we can do it, why can't you? Peter Leach and Ojik were as close as brothers. The pair traveled to indigenous communities across Canada, mentoring youth for well over a decade. We always looked at the work we did within the communities as medicine for us. Let's hear it for Gino. What started as workshops on sports evolved into something much bigger. A young lady we met at 13 years old. She wanted to thank us. Uh, she came up and thanked she, both Gina and I personally. Uh, she said uh, we helped influence her become a lawyer. She was 27 years old when we, when we uh, seen her again and told us that she was a lawyer. During his spiritual journey of health walk from Alberta to Vancouver, organizers say Ojik squeezed in just about as many pit stops as possible. He was greeted by all ages of people. I remember that from little little ones all the way up to elders. You know, it really meant a lot to those First Nation communities that he was making an effort to show up. Many of the kids he met would eventually take to the ice, including current Vancouver Canuck Ethan Bear, who called Ojik a mentor. Cross Bear scores! And scored this goal shortly after he died. His style of play was pretty unique, and I think that gave a lot of... Um, a different mentality to our youth it's like okay like some youth may not or know they're not like a goal scorer but they know they can still make it to the nhl playing that type of style on monday the outpouring of love and remembrance continued he's a hero to many uh, people many hockey players and it was very sudden you know he showed a lot of courage you know uh, he was a warrior you know he it was a warrior. Strength and resilience that will continue to inspire long after his passing. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.